All right, guys, we're up under here. I gotta put my bolts in the differential here so I can get my axle or my leaf spring purchase packed in place. We get our angle right here. Well, it'll do that on its own pretty much. We pretty much got that figured out. So, I figured I'd go ahead and just bring you guys along here. That's what I'm going to be doing it anyways. And hopefully, hopefully it don't take too long. I probably could have used an air ratchet for this. But, I don't, I don't want to hear it, and I know you guys don't want to hear the air compressor kick on every 10 minutes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of these. Like that one started. I'll take this one out of here. This is way too long. And we'll just well, put them in there one at a time. So, we'll go ahead and do that. And, uh... I might probably put you on the uh, fast forward. Just so you ain't got to sit here and watch me do this for 10 more minutes or whatever it's going to take. So, all right, we'll do fast forward. <laughs> guys are back we got a drive shaft in there bolted in anyway well I don't know if you could really see it too good but on both sides where the leaf springs go on the axle it's just kind of the perches aren't welded on which they should be and they're not and everything's just kind of sitting in there it's kind of tight but it's not tight all the way I got my angle my pinion angle where I want it <coughs> I'm gonna try to put up some tack welds on the uh, perches just so that way I can either take it you know unbolt everything and take it out to clean it up or try to that way when I jack it up because I didn't want to jack it up get the tires off that way it can't move on me so we're gonna attempt to get in there and uh, try to make it actually be able to film this decent it's kind of dark and there's not a whole lot I can do about that at the moment so let me pause you I'm gonna get kind of situated a little bit better and then we'll uh, We'll be right back.
All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I also want to show you guys, I did finally get this, uh, this bracketry that I welded in the firewall, me and my son. Uh, I think in the last video, I think I actually forgot to put a part in the video. Uh, my son came over and he helped me. He actually fabbed that piece up right there. <coughs> uh, we, we used the, the new plasma cutter, it worked great. And this is probably, I think it's eighth inch or three sixteenths or something. I forget what size steel it was, but it was thicker. It wasn't sheet metal or anything. So the next video, hopefully, we doing putting that in, uh, putting the parts in for that. So of course this is power booster goes in there. And then like I showed you before on the back side inside the car, we got this guy. It's gonna mount like this on the back side. And it's got the pedal right here. But I might have to cut this off about nine inches. It's a little fit. So, and I do have to trim a little bit here. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been having, that's why I haven't been making any videos last week. I've been having really bad sinus uh, stuff going on. So, I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit because when we, when we fed this up, we didn't take into account all this extra up here. So, it'll be fine. I'm just going to notch it maybe like right here and notch it down a little bit so it'll fit in there okay it'll be fine it's plenty sturdy enough so that'll be hopefully the next uh, video tomorrow or something and then after that i want to get all this stuff changed out as you guys saw in some uh, previous couple videos i did i got new intake carburetor distributor coil so i want to go ahead and swap all that out um i did get new gaskets and everything and i want to get new hardware for this because the bolts are old and rusty and painted over and stuff i want i think i'm just going to use maybe stainless bolts or something or maybe just get some nice grade five looking you know because it intakes aluminum so i don't want it to look nice so that's about it um for now anyway uh i'm going to talk to my son and see if he wants to give me a hand here the next weekend maybe or something we can get that rear end out of there <coughs> maybe i'll order up some spring purchase and we can maybe swap that stuff out maybe i want like i said i want to get that rear end out of there anyway uh get all the brakes apart and i want to take the rear cover off and i want to clean out because i don't know what condition the oil's in if there's i'm sure there's oil in it but i don't know what condition it's in so i want to clean that out real good put some new oil and stuff in that new gasket or whatever new sealing on the cover the diff cover so and it, the rear end is pretty fairly crusty. It could use some cleaning up anyway. So that's about all I got. <coughs> um, if you guys want, give me a thumbs up for sure, and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. This thing's starting to come along pretty good. I st I'm still got one more thing I got to get for this front axle. Uh, the one the one thrust bearing for the kingpin I need I need to find. I did finally find the right brake uh, caliper brackets. They should be here this week. I ordered a set on from Speedway Motors. I got them and they were the wrong ones. So I actually found the right ones. I just need to order that uh, bearing. And there's a washer I got to order too from them. <coughs> so anyways guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll be doing a lot more videos on this thing. I'm, I was on vacation all last week so I didn't really do a whole lot on this thing. I was trying to get some stuff prepping for winter outside. <coughs> getting firewood cut up just trying to get everything kind of done before it starts getting really cold out because you guys probably know i've mentioned it before i heat with i heat the barn in here with with a wood stove so i like to have a nice stack of wood for that so anyways thanks for watching give me a thumbs up we'll see you on the next video guys have a good one